What up, folks? I'm back once again doing a video game review. And the game I will be reviewing is Pirate Warriors that was released for the NES, which was like one of the, which is like came from the arcade version. And the game starts out with this particular cutscene to where a plane is shot down and it makes pretty much a crash landing. The, the idea was, was good and I don't have a like a real big problem with the crash landing sequence but it's like just everything else about the game is not that good. And I will get to that in, in a minute. It, it, it pretty much the game consists of like you uh, like shooting, uh, fighting against um, some gorillas that, that that shot down your plane, and you using like um, your guns and the grenades, and you you do have powers, but the main problem with the gun is that you're using is that the fact that it doesn't shoot all the way like across the screen. It's like it's like, like a halfway I would say I would, I would say it's not even like a halfway point. Your range is pretty pathetic. It's like it's even shorter than what you see on Metroid for NES and at least like once you get your long beam on Metroid you you pretty much get to keep it. You, and the, like there are some powers that you get, but more, more often than not, you're gonna lose it. Then like ten minutes of you getting it, I'll say even five minutes of you getting like some powers. And like the only way you, you're really gonna keep it is the fact that you gotta have the you know, stages memorized. The one thing about the stages, you it's really like consistent four stages, each stage, and it's like, it lasts for 30 minutes to an hour. I would go with 30 minutes if you, if you don't die. And that's being, and that's being generous in my opinion. It's like, the, the whole game is like a tedious shooter, you know. You do like get a couple of uh, vehicles, which are the tank and the helicopter. What I will talk about in a minute. There is a lot, of, like there's a, there's a lot of gripes to this game, I'm, and I'm not the only one with the gripes. But the fact is, there are a few that that can't be ignored. You know, one of them is the gameplay. Like once you get out of that hook out of that plane, you walk like slow compared to say like um, other games like Mega Man, Metroid, even Contra, you know. And I'm, I don't know why I'm comparing this game to these classics, but it's, but I'm saying that the, the gameplay to, to Atari Warriors is pretty bad. And because of it, and because of that slowness, and the fact that your bullets don't travel um, to the end of the screen, makes it very easy for you to um, die. And once you um, you have, you do have three lives, but you really don't matter because you 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 can lose all three lives within within a span of like three minutes or less, you know. And you do have this cold which is ABBA, because playing, the, playing this game for five minutes is, is not fun at all, because the fact you get killed, you, you pretty much constantly use ABBA a lot, because I wasn't the only one that did it. Anybody else who played this game use ABBA a lot. But there is a flaw to that particular code. You can't use it on either the late part of the third stage or, or some part in the fourth stage, if you die, you have to um, use this code as well, as like long and tedious. You know that. 
and that didn't make any sense to me to have have two codes for you to just to play the game and continue for you to beat it. It was one of the worst decisions I've seen in, in, in this particular game. And now, plus you have the um the helicopter and the tank that you can use in like each stage. I, I think with the exception of the last one. It allows you to, tr to travel faster, of course. And you, and you get to you, and you can pick up uh, uh, gas items for you to for you to continue to use the tank or the uh, or in the um, helicopter. But if you don't continue to grab those uh, the gas tanks, you will hear this annoying beeping sound and the um and the tank or helicopter will flash and if you don't get out of that tank it's, it's going to explode and you will die well if you don't get the tank the tank icon is going to like explode anyways there was another like bad decision as far as programming is concerned and they should have, it's kind of like they should have allowed you to like just get the if the tank, if you don't get the gas, the the uh, the, um, the, uh, the tank and the, or the helicopter just stop, not explode, because that was like straight up stupid for them, for the company to to program the tank and the helicopter to um, explode if you don't get any gas, like gas tank icons. And, uh, like this is one of the worst programming decisions I've seen in any game that I play. Now when it gets to the music, the stage and the level design, it's kinda like it, I can say it's mediocre at best, it's bad at worst. Because there's no real variety with the music with the level design and with the um with the graphics overall is like a mishmash of a mishmash of awful awfulness, you know. And as far as a score, I would definitely give it like a four out of out of ten because of the decisions that they made with regard to the tank. And the um and the helicopter exploding, and there's the issue of the two codes, also that I that I previously mentioned. Even though the even though a Carly Warrior is as bad as it is, it got two sequels that fall behind it, and to me that is a definite head scratcher. Why would they? Why would they want? Why would this particular game want two sequels behind it to see how forgettable the Power Warriors is? Now, honestly, I did not play those other two games because how forgettable this this one was. And to be truthful, because of what I've seen with Power Warriors and the opinion of other people, what they had to say about the other two games. I can honestly say that Akari Warriors is one of the most forgettable um, trilogies, and one of the one of the worst and forgettable. I don't. Know, I wouldn't say that the Akari Warriors trilogy is the worst trilogy, but it's pretty much one of one of the most mediocre and forgettable uh, trilogies that that ever been released. You know. So, with that being said, if you agree with my review of a Power Warriors, if you have if you have anything else to add that I like forgot to mention, you know, oh yeah, that that kind of reminds me. There's this um, I think it's in the third uh, stage to where um. You use a grenade to, to prevail for it, and 
I wasn't even aware of that until I saw uh, the angry video game nerd review of Akari Warriors, where he mentioned that, like, oh, you were to expose this for you toss a grenade and it'll show up. It's like, how? It, the, it begs the question. How are his world supposed to know that this particular staircase even existed? Man, that is so, so cryptic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, but anyway, with that being said, if you have, I would welcome all opinions in the comment section in, in regards to Akari Warrior if you think. If, if you agree with my premise or if you enjoyed it, if you think I was kind of lenient or whatever, drop a comment in the comment section. I, I'll welcome them all. If you like this particular video, don't hesitate to thumbs it up and don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy, Big Mike 5989, signing off.